Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and today we are going to be doing a really simple project. This is perfect for kids or just somebody who wants a fun, quick DIY. They make really fun gifts. I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cute DIY fabric wreath. For this project you're going to need a coat hanger, a rotary trimmer, or a pair of scissors, and a bunch of fun, colorful scraps. You can also use those wire wreath um, hangers as well that you can buy in the craft store, but I had this one at home, so I went ahead and used it. Now I'm gonna be making my strips about one to one and a half inches wide and about eight inches long. I find any shorter than that and they can be kind of hard to tie. Any thicker than that, again, they can be kind of hard to tie. Now, as you'll see in the video, I'm gonna be just kind of tearing strips, cutting strips. I'm not measuring anything. I'm just making sure they're around one and a half inches wide and about eight inches long. That's about as long as they need to be to be able to tie on here and be able to stay. So let's go ahead and get started on today's project. So for our scraps, we're gonna be using a variety of different sizes. You don't have to make them perfect. I'm just gonna be pulling from these buckets right here. I would suggest making them about eight inches long. That's usually pretty good for tying length. Um, and then they can really be any width. This one is about, looks like it's a little bit over an inch, maybe an inch and a half. This one's probably only about an inch. This one's probably about an inch. So I wouldn't worry too much about the widths. Um, you can vary them and then that will make your wreath a little bit more interesting. You just wanna make sure they're long enough. So just get yourself a whole big pile of scraps that you can pull from and then with your hanger you can do a couple of things here you can actually fold this over or even um, you know kind of hide it behind so that you don't have the hanger I think I'm going to leave my hook up here so that I can have something to hang it with and then I'm just going to use my hands to stretch this out and form it into a circle shape for our wreath you can also buy one of those um, pre-made wreath shapes from the store, but I mean, I had this in my closet and it was basically free. So yeah, we're gonna go with this. So I'm just going to keep forming it so we basically have kind of a nice circle shape here. This is gonna be kind of forgiving anyway, so don't stress yourself out too much of it. And then we have this little hook here. Like I mentioned before, you can fold this down and hide it, or you can leave it up and have something to hang your wreath by. Next, we're just going to load as many of these little scraps on here as we possibly can. So I am just going to take one and tie it like so. I'm not even gonna double tie mine, you can, but I'm not going to because I'm feeling lazy. This one looks a little too long, so I'm just gonna cut it. And then we're just gonna keep on going all the way around this thing until it is completely full. And the key to these is just putting on as many as you possibly can, squeezing them as tight on here as you can. The more you can fit on here, the fuller that your wreath is gonna be. And we're gonna speed up this section just so you don't have to watch us sit here and tie a million of these on because it's probably gonna take us a couple minutes. For this project, I have recruited my youngest daughter, Katie, to help me. Katie, say hi. Hi. Um, so she has helped me with a couple of my other tutorials and we're just gonna get to tying. All right, so once you think that you are all the way around, just take your pieces and push even farther and you'll see that you can probably open up some more. Get as many on here as you can. The more you pack on, the better your finished wreath is going to look. All right, so I think we've got all that we can get on here and now the fun part comes and you just want to sit here and kind of twist these around so they're going all different directions because if you'll notice this side is super flat and kind of boring looking. So all you need to do is just twist them and kind of fluff them up a little bit. Nothing fancy or calculated. And then there you go. You've got an absolutely adorable fabric wreath. All right guys, that is it for today's project. As you can see, this was so easy and fun. Now, as you can see from this video, I just used a bunch of colorful scraps from my scrap stash back here. Now, you can of course make these theme-based as well. I think red, white, and blue for the Independence Month theme would be really cute. You can do red, white, and green for Christmas. You can do any color combination that you like, and they're just a fun and easy way to decorate any room. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. That way I know to keep making fun projects for you. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you next time. But just make sure that they're about long enough to tie around your... Mm.
Why are the easiest ones the hardest? Okay. Hi guys, welcome to ASMR. Hello? 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 Okay. Hi! Now it's recording. I hope it was recording before. Hi, welcome to ASMR with your host Stop, stop. <laughs> I have to! Nice, real nice, great. Okay, hang on, let me... Love that! Of course, you can also use other wire. You can also... Whoa! <laughs> uh, folded... Or, what's that called? Folded earlier. Where it was the hanger shape and the yeah. sides by the clothes? Yes. Hung. Uh, Kidnapped Katie to do this with her. <laughs> you know, it's Christmas time. Yeah. Well, you can make these in Christmas colors. Great colors. <laughs> All right, once you think that you have, oh, and I don't have my, it's over cord. No, you're about to take the lid. <laughs> Watch it. I need to get past you, child. There's too many cables and stuff. I caught it. Thank you. There's no microphone. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, ready? Go. <laughs> Good boy, I didn't know you could play fetch. <laughs> 